Many app organizations, architectures end up sort of looking somewhat like this, where we think of application services. So these are the things that, you know, powering our day-to-day -day business that our users are interacting with, et cetera, uh, often composed of many different services. And these services have needs to communicate, pass messages. And this is you know, very much a common need of asynchronous messaging and messaging patterns have existed for a long, long time. Systems like RabbitMQ, once again, ActiveMQ. These are things like fan out, work queues, whatnot. But uh, as data volumes have grown and, and needs have grown around being able to do things like batch processing, real-time stream processing, data ecosystem has grown. And as such, we often see many organizations that will have sort of a separate, sort of very separate regime group that is handling sort of data services. And they'll often have need of some of this messaging data. So that data may be replicated into like a, a streaming system. You know, maybe this is a Kinesis or Kafka. That data then may need to be moved into long-term data warehouses for batch processing, as well as being used for sort of near time stream processors, right? The sort of processing data as it comes in. And then, you know, we're doing something with that data and then maybe perhaps actually like loading it back into other services for usage. So we sort of have you know, data moving back and forth between these two different ecosystems in your organization, you know, very different stacks, very different needs between these different, these different groups.